Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Let's see, we got that covered last time. So, we have two missions, Nantucket and Naval Blockade. Naval Blockade is first. We expect free ships, we can bring four, okay. British newspapers tell the world their navy keeps American ports under an iron blockade. Loyalist traders come and go at will, spreading word of our movements. They think they are protected by the British fleet and are invulnerable to our threats. Therefore, we must blockade Loyalist shipping. To show our resolve, we must sink or seize as, as prizes as many as we can to teach them a lesson. This will directly affect our nation's ability to properly collect their own maritime taxes for the mutual defense and will clear our coastal waters for our own traders. In close, you will find a map of a known route frequently used by Loyalist vessels that is screened by British fleets. Sinking Loyalist vessels under British protection will prove our point. The lesson will be doubly effective if you bring them back as prizes. You are free to proceed at your own discretion and have full authority to act in manner of your own choosing, but you must act fast. Admiral Isaac Hopkins, Commander-in-Chief, United States. So we're bringing four ships, Catherine, Sherwood, Virginia and Glasgow. Let's see. We need to spend some money. Naval weapons. Not naval weapons. Uh, land weapons. Um, yes. We're buying... 700 units. That's 7 reputation points. Uh, sea service 38, sea service 38. Oops, that's wrong one. A new sea service 38 as well. We have 1105 in the armory. And the reason to do it this way is just so that we don't waste any reputation costs, essentially, on arming our troops. Uh, you can have another two. You can be maxed out. You can have another few as well. Nine pounders. Mm. We'll keep the Catherine as our uh, flagship. Let's see, uh, two. Can't afford anything. Hmm. I do want to get the industry to ASAP though, just so that we can start getting closer to carronades. Because I love me some carronades. I have some great plans with carronades. So, naval blockade, let's go. Let's bring our four lovely vessels. Um, which four was it? Catherine, Sherwood, Virginia, and the Glasgow. These men are loyal to Britain, but they are still American. It is difficult to board a countryman's vessel. We have been chasing these loyalist ships for two hours, and now we have them in cannon range. We must do our duty. Let us capture these merchant vessels and prove to the loyalists they cannot outrun us. Are these both... She has guns, doesn't she? Oh yeah, she has guns. However, the Diamantina does not. Uh, let's load all grape. Fleet retreat. Oh, there's going to be multiple ships showing up. Okay. Um... We're going to sail past and we'll leave the Glasgow to uh, capture the HMS Fane. And the rest are going to swarm the Diamantina and litter her with grape shot. I mean, they're going to litter the, the Fane with grape shot beforehand as well. And let's speed things up a little. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. Can't see if she has cannons, so she doesn't have a lot of crew. First shot's fired. Let's uh, loosen up the sails a bit. Okay, let's give them all individual orders. Sales, you have full sales, all of them full sales. HMS Catherine will just continue to the dementia. We'll call it the dementia because this is. It is annoying to try to pronounce the Diamantina every time. Still only got one vessel here. Does she have guns? Yes, she does. the Glasgow app to deal with her. And the USS Virginia, why not? So you a bit more this way. Ah, the HMS uh, fame is a bit too fast for my liking. Outrunning the Sherwood. Let's sail roughly this way. That should be about right. Now that's what I want. Speaking of match speed, let's match speed. Ooh, go for the boarding. Excellent. Hopefully HMS Fame will uh, strike your colors sooner rather than later. Thanks to the boarding, or uh, the morale thingy. Awesome, uh, send the price crew. We will send her... This way. Actually go for the jibe. And we'll send the Sherwood to deal, help deal with the Diamantina. Excellent. I don't want to get this guy a bit closer. Heading. Okay, that's better. Mm, 
match speed. Oh, I see another. Ooh. Yeah, the favorite and the encounter are the other ships. Let's try to make a quick work of the Avenue. Dauntless, these are bigger. These are frigates. We've got one frigate. Okay, let's uh, let's cancel her mission. She's not catching up anytime soon. And the Catherine is doing uh, good work on her own. Okay. Beautiful dodging over there. Come on, strike a color so that we can board and capture you. Ah, perfect. Um, go for the boarding. Out of range. Perfect. That'll also provide a lot of uh, a lot of captured soldiers, which will give us uh, a lot of reputation points, hopefully. I say soldiers, I mean sailors, but... Okay, uh, minimum price crew. Cut her off. Let's get these two to split. Let's match speed. Ah, the Glasgow is taking some beating in the hull. Let's prepare for uh, boarding with the Virginia. There's a fire. Hopefully he'll be able to deal with that before the boarding begins. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's one fire set out, put out.
Uh, let's send a pretty decent uh, crew over to deal with the fire. She has nine pounders, right? Yeah, okay, we had one of her earlier. Uh, let's see, anchor. Let's do this ASAP. Don't, uh, you go there, you go there, you go there. So HMS Fury and HMS Dauntless we need to deal with ASAP. The Fu That's a Hermione class if I've seen one. This is another Cerberus. Okay, let's get uh, Aberdeen out of there. Let's have these guys tack. I would love to send some more crew to the Virginia. But it seems that is going to be a bit difficult. Okay, and let's load some ball. Mm. Actually, let's stick with the grape tactic. Boarding seems to have been going well for us so far. All we need to do is capture these two ships and then the rest is easy. Assuming they don't have guns, no guns. And we have among them... 400 crew? No, uh, 600 crew roughly. Virginia is a bit low at the moment though. Which ship is this? The Glasgow... Okay, let's her, have her quickly uh, deploy a boat, let's have him quickly deploy a boat, you go there, just so that the crews are a bit more balanced. You. So the down Dauntless is going to be our first uh, first target. The Fury does have 12 pounders though, that's scary. While the Dauntless only has uh, 9 pounders. Oh, why did you stop Catherine? Keep on sailing. Let's slow you lot down a bit. going to be interesting when we get to boarding the Dauntless. She does have quite a significant and scary crew. 195 men compared to our biggest ship with 150. I mean they all have around 150. Okay, let's have these two guys tack. Sherwood will jibe as soon as he gets his or she gets her broadside off. Was it a good idea to attack there? I don't know. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, that's not exactly the kind of results I was hoping for. She's going for our sails. That is good news for us. Oh, this heading, go this heading. Keep on turning, get that other broadside on the Dauntless. I mean, it, it was a valiant effort, I guess. Actually, while we're here, you go ahead and tack. Let's send our little boats in to have some fun as well. Like, they can at least start whittling down the encounter and the uh, favorite. HMS Catherine, we're keeping out of this for now. Can you go... you go this way. Try to cut ahead of the Dauntless. Okay, never mind. Catherine keep on the same heading though. Uh, way anchor. We'll also attack. Returning. Oh. It's always good to see. Ah, that was a miss. Go for attack. Oh, dang it. Oh, boy. Okay, you continue attacking. I think Sherwood and Virginia will go start working on HMS Fury. Can you turn quick enough? Oh, she's gonna lose her battle spirit. Or maybe not. Ah, the Dauntless did, though. Sail. Going to a heading more this way. There we go. Finally, some crew deaths on the Fury. Send you more this way. Scraping us all, excellent. Let's match speed. Let's just wait anchor for you for a bit. You turn this one, you turn this way. anchor as well for a bit. HMS Furry is being a bit annoying, I have to say though. Has a hard one for uh, HMS Glasgow. Ooh. 
that's quite a lot. Uh, that's quite hurting on the crew. Okay, let's uh, send the Glasgow away. She is allowed a bit of a rest. Dauntless is going for the hole now. Her morale is wavering though. Okay, uh, let's see, you will match her speed. And then you get closer at least. Maybe we should consider boarding the Dauntless soon. Okay, load the ball. HMS sure would help out over here. Oh boy, you are going a bit too fast. Match for speed. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, excellent. Uh, less than excellent. Come on. Come on, deal with the fire. Okay, fire dealt with. Okay. We still got three ships to deal with the Fury. We're gonna send the Dauntless to deal with the encounter. You are sailing way too slow. Don't speed match. Wait, is that a button that's universal? No, it isn't. Okay, good. Don't try and speed match. Attacking, turn away. Uh, slower speed. Oh, he's going for the ball.
They still got quite a ways to go. So I'm not too worried. Wait, don't shoot Paul. Shoot Grape. Yeah, and if the Virginia can catch up to the Fury, I will have the Virginia board the Fury. Okay, some nice long range shooting there. Oh, come no, poor Commodore. Commander, correct, correction. Let's have you go a bit faster for a bit. Okay, Glasgow, you've served your purpose uh, today. You are allowed to run the fuck away. Uh, that's not what I meant by running away. We're going a bit too fast. HMS Virginia is too slow for my needs at the moment. Settle down a little. It's a viewway anchor. I might have bit off more than I can chew, uh, apparently. Unless the Virginia can catch up again. Okay, let's have the HMS fame uh, get out of there. Get into the gun sights of him. Speed you up a little. Turn you a little. Some nice shooting at that range, I have to admit. Oh, the encounter is wavering. Okay, HMS Fang can take it. Glasgow is... Oh, that's a nice UI I haven't seen before. Of the Glasgow recovering. Excellent. Wait, 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 don't, don't. I need you to keep up the fire on the encounter. You are set to board ASAP. 
Some heavy losses in terms of crew for me today. Let's raise the sails a little so that I can uh, get my guns to bear. Only got a few of them. Oops, wrong button. I think the sail uh, is a bit glitched. Oh well. It happens. Okay, now we should be within range. Sadly, of his guns as well. That's something I tried, wanted to avoid. I want to say try to avoid, but I didn't try to avoid it that actively. Let's press a few more sails. Virginia is slowly getting there. Will the Sherwood get some shots off? Yes, she will. More? No. Okay. Let's get behind the Virginia and then we will continue. Encounter has lost a lot of crew, but not enough. Uh, don't fire port guns. Your Glasgow's only goal will be to hit the favorite. So that we have somebody that starts working him over. Well, ASAP. Okay, boarding is about to start. Let's match the speed button. Just drop anchor, I guess. Oh, Virginia morale is low, that's not good. Oh, bollocks, you sailed too far. You need to slow down. Let's have you also board to help out. Let's sail. Okay, you lower sail. Use Virginia, start boarding. Okay, press more sail again. Sherwood, you will send the minimum crew and you will set you will just set sail Virginia. Uh raise sails a little. You need to go a bit faster. Okay. Let's keep her let's keep the encounter sandwiched. Shock. We're 
getting there. Not quickly enough though, but we're getting there. Is the Glasgow getting shot at or something? I guess they do have musket men. How many boats? Two boats. Okay, excellent. Yeah, HMS Evany can't can't be used to uh, secure encounter. Why? Why? I am I am stupid. I just realized I had disabled the guns. It helps if she can fire. Uh, okay. Way anchor. Let's get that bo boat out to uh, grab the encounter. You have two as well. Excellent. Awesome, let's send the encounter away. One more boat to go. And it's the favorite. You've got great, right? Yeah. Anchor. Where's the Sherwood? Ah, she's here. Sherwood could. Sherwood could take the place of the Glasgow when the time is right. Don't fire the left one side. We'll do it ASAP. We'll have the Sherwood st stop over there, have the Glasgow move over the 25 crew. Like, it's not a lot, but it'll help with the gunnery. While well, the Virginia just keeps on pummeling the favorite. And the Glasgow gets one last broadside off. With a couple of kills. That's pretty good. Okay, let's deploy the boat. Seymour joined the uh, Sherwood. Ah! Let's deploy a boat to take possession. Ah, looks like we didn't have to. Awesome! That was, a, that was a very successful operation. We lost quite a lot of crew though. Let's see. 282, that's not too bad. They lost all of theirs. That's, that's a lot worse. So I'd say a successful operation on the day of the, con on this day for the Continental Navy. We'll worry about that in the next episode. So, we met the British Braid Unity and the Transport Rosalie and Seahorse. 
Okay, that needs optimization. Capturing the vessel and turn them to friendly ports, openly to show the loyalists that the seas are close to them forevermore. The ability of our government to properly tax trade will ensure we are properly paid. Okay. Uh, I spent all of that. Okay, good. Um... Uh, let's improve our luck. So, let's take stock. HMS Fury, we're, we're definitely going to take her for us. HMS Catherine, we have those already. Hamish, uh, HMS Ebony. HMS Dauntless, which is... A service class, just like the Virginia. Glasgow is ours. HMS Fame. Well, we're definitely sending that to Admiralty. We're not even going to check that. And we have uh, free transport. Oh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's the next mission? Okay, we'll figure that out in the next episode. So, I do hope you all enjoyed watching this uh, little episode. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll uh, get you guys in the next one. Bye.